So last night at the table, we're rolling dice, and I go to Alex, hey, let's grab a drink. So we go to the bar, and Alex took it upon himself to order. Why don't you tell people what you ordered? I ordered a whiskey and Diet Coke. No sugar. Anyways, so I decided to reach out to my buddy Marv and, and uh, come down here to 1923 Bourbon Bar here at Mandalay Bay to teach this kid about whiskey, bourbon, just how to drink like a gentleman. So Alex, are you ready to, I can't to learn? Wait. You ready I can't for wait. the journey? Let's do it. Welcome to 1923, boys. What's up, Marv? How's it going? This is the right. kid I was telling you about. Okay, okay. You ready to have some fun then? You He's ready? got a lot to learn. You ready to learn? Let's go, kid. Right, Let's do it. Come, Come on. on. Let's go. So here we are. <laughs> We're in, uh, this is Marvin's uh, art collection. Who painted all these? This is amazing. <laughs> I don't know, it's a good question. Yeah. So this is nice the cigar, cigar this is this the cigar is the room. the estate room, cigar room here at, at Bourbon Bar, 1923 in Malay Bay. So I'm looking to learn some things and Kay. Alex is looking to learn everything. <laughs> so let's start, let's start the class here. So, so I heard you a ordered a, a whiskey and a Diet Coke. And what was your reasoning behind that? Well, no sugar in the diet. Good so my takeaway is, you know, if I'm not going to have it straight up. A little less hangover, actually. A little less hangover. I, you, yeah. I had to pull the umbrella out of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the maraschino cherry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking, you know, like whiskey and diet if that's what you're into. But as for a manlier, a, a more gentleman-like cocktail, mm -hmm. it's, you'd be more prone to, like, drink something that's straight up or on the rocks or whatnot because it shows that you, you know your bourbons, your whiskeys, your scotches or whatnot, and, and a real gentleman does. And it tastes know? better. And it tastes a lot better. That's because what you're drinking it for, these right? Companies, for the yeah, you got a company like McAllen that uh, has a 12-year-old scotch in it. You know, there's a lot that goes into that. This might be the most gorgeous cube I've ever seen Thank in a glass. What, what's the, <laughs> the secret? The genius behind this. As everybody has their own spheres or whatnot. I like the larger spheres to actually fill the glass, you know, instead of a big giant double old fashioned. This is the regular old fashioned glass. The reason why it's clear is we use distilled water. So when you use distilled water, there's no impurities in the water, it's not cloudy. Normally you go into a bar, let's say they have chip ice all the time, you know, little, little cubes, if, if you will. When you pour it in there, the smaller those cubes are, this alcohol is going to burn it. It's going to dilute that ice a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And that ice is coming from the tap. So you're going to dilute this high-end scotch, this high-end bourbon, this high-end rye with, with that. So this, a solid piece of ice like this, when you put it, it won't freeze, it won't dilute as fast. So therefore, you'll enjoy your, your bourbon, your scotch, your rye and cold not only that, if without it being you know, diluted. If Between the whiskey, the rye, and the, and the bourbon, mm -hmm. We're in a cigar room. Mm -hmm. Is there a drink of choice to pair with the cigar? That's a great Very question. Very good question. Thank you. They're all great. <laughs> okay. yes. Is there a, do you have a preference? I, I like scotch. I like scotch. It's a little bit more, it has a lighter body, so I can enjoy the cigar, brings out the pair. But it also depends on the type of cigar you have. You know, you're drinking like a chocolate deep cigar, then you want to do some bourbon that could pair with it that's similar to the notes. Okay. You know, same concept with having a steak. You, By the way, we already did this. We, we you did this, this segment, right? Yeah, okay, so, so this is perfect. So this is perfect. Well, let's say you have a steak, and uh, the right choice, there's really no right or wrong choice, but with a steak, you would think of bourbon. This is probably going to shock everybody. A scotch is probably way better with a steak, and here's why. You get the smoky flavors from the scotch, you know, a steak with on the grill, it's going to pair perfect. It's scotch on scotch. I've never had a scotch. On I've never had a scotch and steak. Try that. Go, I'm go, absolutely going to try grill, that. A, grill and smoke a, a, you see that? a steak. You see what we're learning here? Food. Scotch and steak. I know cold <laughs> beer and steak. We had yep. a, a, a nice red wine. Yep. But a scotch and steak, I promise you, I, I can't wait to try that. Yeah. Great alliteration. I'm doing that. All right, Marvin, what's next? Let's try some scotch. Let's do some scotch. Just a little, little, little venture out of uh, Classic Macallan 12, double cast. Do this one. So am I holding it right? Uh, yeah, just All hold right. it. See, this is what I like. Not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Right, go ahead. Right, give it a turn. There you go. I'm growing up by the swirl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you you, heard, you heard me snoring on that. That's great. <laughs> so let me ask you. Oh, yeah, that's good. 
Very good. Clean? Very clean. What uh, notes did you guys pick up from this? I t it tasted very smoky to me. Exactly. Just yeah. like we're talking about the steak. Yeah. So imagine having a nice Macallan 12 with a nice smoked ribeye. I mean, it, it pairs amazing. We're going to move to rye. So Angel's Envy is the same distillery as uh, Woodford Reserve. Ever heard of that? Yeah, of course. So this is their higher echelons of, of, of uh, their brand. Now Angel's Envy, like I was telling you, won two years in a row, bourbon of the year, but the rye is even more fantastic in my opinion. The way you're describing, I'm getting hungry. It's weird to say, <laughs> but I'm getting hungry from the description. Fair enough. You're doing a great job. I can already tell you what I'm gonna taste, just by the smell. Okay. I don't want to say anything. Give me yeah. that. He'll get it. <laughs> I love how we're opening our mouth. Yeah. Do it a little bit more discreetly, though, if you're out and about. You know what, I mean? what do you taste? I taste rye. <laughs> I taste like a cherryness. I get cherry. All right, so what do we got last? This, uh, is, this is the bourbon. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is good stuff. Basil good American bourbon. This is good, good old fashioned Basil Hayden, straight out of Kentucky. Is that the best bourbon out there around? You think? Or? This is definitely up there, one of yeah. the top affordable bourbons, if you will. You know, for best bang for your buck. You know, you get good stuff like Bullet. Uh, those are classics. Yeah, Bullet seems to be like the, it's, it's, the hacky go-to. It is. It's the go-to. You'll see it at every bar. You'll see it at Applebee's and you'll see it at the high-end bar. But is it? You is won't it, see this at Applebee's, but you'll, you'll see it at the higher echelons of the bourbon bars. But is bars. Bullet? Is Bullet? It's a staple. Okay. It's, it's more of but a it's, staple. But it's, it's sincere, though. It's, it's, it's absolutely sincere. Okay, it's okay. definitely great. But is, you would say this is better than, this than is, Bullet? This is, in my opinion, I like it a little bit better. It's, uh, you know, you'll see. You give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a run, guys. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This whole that whole open mouth thing has Change, changed the game. It's this game changer, it really is. That is, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you. This is so smooth. <laughs> That's why I grabbed it, my friend. Yeah. Jesus, try yeah. that out. It's so smooth. <laughs> I keep laughing every time you go to sniff. Very smooth. There is no burn. None. Unbelievable. Well, okay. thank you, Marvin. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you to 1923 Bourbon Bar. Beautiful feng shui in here in the, in the <laughs> cigar room. We're both a little buzzed. I think we're going to go order like gentlemen some more bourbon. All right. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Thank you.